Four bedrooms, two stories, nice neighborhood, needs a little work, you think? Actually, a lot of work. This fixer upper is yours for a million dollars. One million dollars <laughs> for a pad that needs some serious work. Might have to put another million into it, right? <laughs> okay, Kanan's Crystal Cruz is live at the home in Highland Park that's looking for a buyer and a makeover as well. Crystal, good evening. Exactly. Now, one family, they've owned this house for 100 years. The grandkids, they're ready to give up the stairs, give up the home, and it can be yours if you have the money and the guts to fix her up. Around the country, a million dollar pad looks like these in Atlanta, Vegas, and Dallas. But here in LA, this haunted looking house is what seven figures get you. We priced it to be competitive, so we think that it's going to sell more than what we listed it at. Amy Pace just listed a total fixer upper, four bed, three bath, hilltop, craftsman, and Highland Park, and calls are coming in. The people that are coming here want the charm of a craftsman or a character home, and this is like exactly what everybody's looking for. And looking out is what Amy hopes potential buyers will fall in love with, along with the built ins. This is really um, what people are looking for that are buying houses with this history. Talk about history. The original blueprints are still here. I love that it says two blocks from Occidental College, and then it talks about grammar. The college. It's a stone's throw from Oxy. Where President Barack Obama spent some time long after the original owners broke ground. When the house was built more than 100 years ago, it cost a little more than $3,000 to build. Fast forward to today, the asking price, more than 300 times that amount. Walking through the two-story home, you can see the past everywhere. But can you look past what needs to be done in the future? Somebody was talking about putting in a pool. Amy can, and she's banking on a cash buyer, Will, too. It'll, it'll find its right person. So this home will probably sell to a cash buyer because it'll be hard to get a loan for this type of home. Next week, Amy will be looking at all offers. As for the history of the home, if you're interested, we've posted that on our website. I'm Crystal Cruz, live in Highland Park tonight with the Million Dollar Home. I'll send it back to you in the studio.